what's up guys let me uh, explain you a little bit what are we going to be analyzing we've seen uh, changes of phases and I want to show you what will happen if you start from the zero absolute or zero Kelvin and you start adding heat at constant pressure and I'm going to speak a little bit uh, on this example or this case which is abstract case but then I'm going to apply it to water which is a more common case so just wait for water to appear probably you're going to get it a little bit more but I just want to give you this one here so you start from the zero absolute solid you have a static uh, solid it does not move at all no vibration no translation no interaction at all then you start heating and the temperature start rising so it's between zero and before achieving the fusion point this is what we call a subcool liquid uh, solid sorry it's still solid and well of course you need to learn this because then we're going to be speaking about this substance is subcool liquid or subcool solid or saturated liquid saturated uh, gas etc so you need to learn them guys and suddenly you keep heating until you achieve the point at which it saturates which is the freezing point you're going to be naming this substance saturated solid it's a solid which is in its fusion point then you keep mixing let's say you know that you can have ice and water at the same temperature which is let's say zero celsius you're going to be in the melting or fusion point and this is called a mixture of solid liquid or saturated mixture it must be you must say that it's saturated then you keep heating you make all this solid it turn into solid and liquid mixture and then it turns into a uh, only liquid sorry only liquid here so you started solid then solid plus liquid and then liquid this is a saturated liquid then we continue heating we start we were here in the saturated liquid in the solid phase of course or when it, it, it's of course not solid but it's the solid line solid liquid line because we're going to see later that there is a like liquid gas line then you can have the liquid between the boiling point and the fusion point which is a freezing point sorry freezing freezing you name this subcool liquid and please guess from here on try to learn it at least very very uh, how to say it's very important because we're going to be using all these terms a lot then the subcool liquid you keep heating it you achieve the boiling point but it's still liquid you haven't seen the first drop of bubble so this is a saturated liquid I just added here a V because you have a saturated liquid in the solid line or in the gas line we're talking right now on this on the vapor gas line okay then from here you're going to have a mixture because of course you start you have your water and it starts mixing uh, evaporation you will have vapor and liquid this is a saturated mixture of liquid and vapor it is in the boiling or condensation point of that substance and then you get you keep heating you get a gas you converted everything to a gas which is at for example if it were vapor 100 celsius and we call that saturated gas you can see you have saturated liquid saturated mixture liquid gas and saturated gas but you know you can still heat that and get a superheated vapor which essentially means it's any vapor that is above its condensation or boiling point okay so let me give you the fast example of uh, ice water and vapor okay we start from the static ice which in theory does not exist because you may not achieve this temperature right here but let's suppose you start from here then you start heating and you know that you could have water from minus 273 celsius to zero celsius in of course one atmosphere you got your subcooled ice then we get to the zero celsius you know you can have or you may have a ice at zero celsius we call this saturated ice then it starts melting and you start seeing a little bit of liquid which will be water you have a ice water mixture which is saturated 
and then you keep heating until you transform all the ice into liquid but is still in zero celsius that's the saturation uh, saturated water or saturated liquid then from the saturated water we're going to heat it a little bit more before achieving the 100 celsius that's what we call subcool water and then we achieve the 100 celsius which will be called saturated water I make the difference here because this is saturated with the vapor line and this one is saturated with the solid line and then you know that eventually you're going to see a bubble which evaporates and you will start having a liquid gas or water vapor saturated mixture until you achieve only gas you're going to evaporate all the liquid you get 100 celsius of gas that's what we call saturated vapor actually these three guys are very important in thermodynamics we're going to see that later and then you start superheating or adding extra heat you increase the temperature and that's what we call superheated vapor and I think I think it's pretty clear you start from ice and then ice saturated and then a mixture of ice and liquid and then a liquid saturated then a liquid or subcool liquid and then you saturate the liquid then you have a mixture of vapor and liquid and then you have the vapor saturated and then you have all the superheated vapor so hopefully it makes sense to you guys if not please review it it's very important you get this probably you didn't know this or uh, you weren't expecting this on this phase uh, section or phase change section but it's pretty awesome because I told you you were going to learn something new and we're going to speak later on heat energy but of course you need a lot of heat to change from all liquid to a vapor look at all the difference between you need to change to add a lot of energy to that mixture and next video we start with section number two What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.